is a video talking about how I set gears, okay? This is how I do it. Now, over here, you see on this rear derailleur, you got a Allen key bolt. To me, that looks like a, should be either four or five mil. Okay, it's one of those two. Now, you want to unloosen that bolt. So, you want that rear derailleur to be on that bottom tooth, the one you see on the right. The little small cog over there. Now, once it's on the cog, what you want to do, what I do is, I use that screw on the right, that you see, on the right, was for the higher speed. I make sure I line up nicely, and what I, I what I do, I make sure I, I make sure it's properly in line, but I put it a little bit slightly to the right. Here's the reason why. Because once I tighten up the screw on the cable, what I do is, okay. I will come up to my shifter, as you see up here. This, what you see right here, is the adjuster down here, it's the adjuster. So I will literally adjust that a little bit more upwards, okay, to slightly bring that little bit to the left to get, to get that alignment. That's what I do. So in case I may want to downshift, at least I left that little gap for it to downshift properly. That's what I do it. Okay. So once you do that, you change, you go for the gears. You see how your gears are performing so far. And once you reach to the biggest ring, what's your low gear? You want to make sure the screw on the left. The screw on the left, you must make sure you set that because in case you push too hard, you don't want your chain to drop off to the other side, okay? Right? So once you get the, those two out of the way, your um, high and low set, next thing is to change for your gears and see how your gears is working, okay? Like cha ching cha ching cha ching and then to to don't to don't and so on, okay? So let's say, for example, you're going... Uh, down the gear You are Downshifting into the Higher speed Was the small ones To go in towards the right Let's say somehow You're getting a little Click 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 Okay Now If you come back up to here To this part here As you see You want to Turn that one Inwards You want to screw inwards So you want to turn uh, Clockwise to screw in so as you turn clockwise to screw in, okay, that will make it more easier for your chain to drop into the next gear. So you just turn it by one little click of a time and you play with it as you get to dun to dun to dun and then to dun to dun to dun. Right? So you do something like that, okay? Now, if you're clicking down and you hear the chain go down and, you, and it drops again, so you want to do is come back up to here. And you want to turn that knob over there anti-clockwise, okay? So you turn the anti-clockwise and that will help eliminate the chain dropping down from, let's see, I'm on first, second, third, I'm on the fourth gear. So let's say I go from four into the fifth gear and somehow it drops in sixth gear. I will turn the knob anti-clockwise to make sure it just drops from fourth into fifth gear, but not into six. So... You use that up here to help fine tune the gears, okay? So when you turn it inwards, clockwise to go inwards, it helps it to drop gears, okay? When you um, screw anti-clockwise, it helps you to help the gears go upwards, okay? Now, by looking at this very carefully, that's all you have to do to set these gears. And one last thing um, to keep in mind, don't forget this screw. This screw is known as the B screw, also known as body angle geometry screw. Okay, so exactly, this is what exactly it does. Now, if you turn that screw anti-clockwise, what happens is your top pulley 
we'll get more closer to the sprocket as you can see okay if you turn that body angle geometry screw right clockwise what happens is the top pulley will move more further away so what you want to do you want to find okay the right geometry that gives you the most optimal performance so let's say for example you're trying to shift down the gear but it's not shifting sometimes it's because the top pulley may be too far away from the sprocket so you have to use the actual b screw or short for body angle geometry screw okay to find that sweet spot in your shifting okay with the SRAM Eagle, it comes with a tool that shows you the right geometry that you must have this to get the best shifting performance. So once I put it onto the bike, there's a special tool that sits on the sprocket. And it lines up with the center of the screw, what goes towards the sprocket. Once I set it there, it works out nicely. Now, if you're going for a uh, rare derailleur, I would not have that tool. As long as you just play with this screw here, what's the body angle geometry screw? You'll be able to find yourself your sweet spot. And you keep doing that and you have your gears working for you. It's very easy to do. If you put in some time and effort, 100%, I know you'll produce excellent results. So hopefully this video helped you, give you a good idea how to tune gears.